Hot up, Cancer. Welcome to your lovers only reading for the month of November 2020. You know me as the Cosmic Divine Tarot. And uh, Cancer, this here is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Lilith. Okay? Now, Cancer, <clears throat> like I said, this is your lovers only reading. So I had went ahead and bought a new tarot deck called the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Okay? Now, Cancer, <clears throat> this deck here got some explicit uh, images on it of naked people doing all kind of freaking. <laughs> okay? So if you don't want to see that type of thing, then. Uh, don't worry about it, baby. I got you next time I do your reading. Okay, uh, Cancer. Now, let's go ahead and dive on into this reading, baby. The first column, I see you have the Five of Pentacles. You have the Knave of Chalices. You have the Seven of Swords and the Damn Tower. Who, Cancer, what the hell happened? It looks like, uh... You were in love with somebody, okay? With that daggone uh, five of pentacles. You were in love with this person, okay? This person was your end all, be all. Or that's you. You had somebody who was in love with you, but saw that you had done some ish with the daggone tower here, okay? Now, Cancer, they saw you or you saw somebody having sex with somebody else and they were doing it like they had never done it with you, okay? This month, right, they were getting it in with somebody who was like <laughs> doing some crazy position, okay? I mean, he means to he means to break her damn back, okay? I mean, seriously, look at this daggone thing. Okay, that's the tower. The tower happened between y'all. And, you know, when you found out about it, Cancer, when they confessed to you with the daggone uh, seven of swords, when they confessed this wrong and, and terrible act of cheating on you and having sex with somebody else where they were just having all kind of boning sessions all night long. Okay, now... That made you start drinking with the knave of uh, chalices here. This person is drunk as hell. Like, I mean, they are upset. They're upset. They got the daggone drinky drink in them. And they're upset about what the hell on transpired between the person that they love and somebody else. Now, guys, I don't know why I'm feeling that that's you. I'm feeling like somebody got drunk over losing you. Somebody got piss pole drunk, okay? They were, I mean, just going in with the daggone liquor, all right? Now, uh, they did that because they just uh, even seen you in the nine of swords. They seen you uh, in this person. They seen this person who had you up in this type of position. Remove those clothes, okay? They seen the whole damn thing, Cancer. And now they're like, oh my goodness. Oh shit. And how they seen it was they came to your house or to your wherever you were in the three of swords this person back here in the back bringing you something to eat cancer they just tried to bring you something to daggone eat and saw you in the bed with somebody who was playing music for you and then you was knocked out on the bed because they they went ahead and was doing all types of stuff to you before they started playing the music okay and now you knocked out and they just want to come at you again cancer so, ooh, you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could be dealing with a, a, a Capricorn Virgo Taurus or Aquarius Libra Gemini. So, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, y'all was just doing, y'all was just doing the, the nasty all night, like I said. And here is the uh, Seven of Pentacles as a confirmation of that fact. Because now y'all on the couch right here, uh, just tired as all hell. Y'all ain't 
doing nothing but just laying down here. You know, you're barely eating. You got the food out your hand right here. The dad going, uh, plates and stuff all over the floor, needing to clean up this damn spot. Okay, that's what you need to do, damn it. Y'all up there having all types of sex instead. But that's okay. That's okay, Cancer. Now, here we got this uh, third column. The third column is the Ace of Wands. I mean, you just getting it in, Cancer. Whew. But this person who you're getting it in with is the damn devil. Now, I've been calling the death card the devil because that damn death card looked like the devil card. But anyway, I'm getting used to these cards. I just bought them, y'all. <laughs> here is the damn devil card right here. And that's who came up behind the person who you love or behind you. Damn. Now, here we have the high priestess. You know this person is a devil. Cancer, you knew this person was a devil, but you didn't give a damn. You wanted to get your groove on. You wanted to go ahead and, you know, because it's been too damn long, okay? You just needed some daggone loving for one night. There ain't nothing wrong with it, god damn it. Now, here's the lovers right here. You may be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, so, yeah. You made the decision to turn away from somebody who loved you like this all curled up to somebody who was mistress spank a damn lot all right this mug right here was somebody who just wanted to have sex she was you knew already that this daggone person was a devil but you went ahead and chose them over your empress okay this is your empress right here this was the empress on the other side right here, Cancer, who loved you, all right? But you decided to go ahead and, and get with somebody else and left the empress alone. Okay, okay. Now, here is the uh, two of pentacles, yeah? You juggled with it a little while while you were spending time with Mistress Spanks a lot. You, uh... You was uh, juggling it, you know, while you were talking to her and she was standing there acting like she was not interested in having any kind of uh, just twisted, funky, dirty, skanky sex with you. Okay, now, <clears throat> this person was playing hard to get, so you were juggling the fact if you wanted to be with them or just go ahead and stay with your empress. Now, your empress was your uh, ten of pentacles. She was your ten of pentacles. She was somebody who you saw as, you know, your end-all, be-all. Your wife, your husband, okay? That's who that person was. However, you, decide, you decided to go ahead and be with some daggone body else. Now, here is the uh, ten of swords. So, the ten of pentacles turned into the ten of swords. Cancer. Damn. So, now, yeah. The person who you love is turned away, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? Turned away because they unsaw you with this other person. And now they feel the queen of swords. They feel the loss of you. They feel like you know you are somebody who just, they had once upon a time. And they just ain't got no damn more. Okay, they just ain't got no damn more. So that's like, okay, hey, what can you do, Cancer? Now, this can also be flipped around. I mean, this could be something that happened to you that somebody, you know, cheated on you, that somebody that you saw them with another person and they confessed that they were with another person and had all types of sex with this person who was a damn devil because they had strong sexual desires for each other. That could be the case, Cancer. I don't know why I just felt that that was you. <laughs> that was you. But anyway, here's the dark mirror. Let me go ahead and get you some more cards, Cancer. All right. 
All right, so let's see, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What other messages do we have for the Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As well as Lilith. Here we go. Peaceful among thorns. Yo! Blinded by pain. Okay. Okay. So you decided, or your person decided to go ahead and be peaceful among these thorns because there was a time when they were blinded by the pain, all right? They were blinded by the pain of what they saw when they saw you in this house and somebody opening up your legs and going ahead and doing all this to you, okay? So, yeah, so it's like uh, this person was blinded by their pain, so now they decided to go ahead and be peaceful among the thorns, all right? Because there ain't not, not a damn thing they can do about it. Let's go ahead and get you some uh, moonology. All right. Moonology. Some moonology cards. All right, Kanza. I mean, you know. You can't feel bad if the person who you was with was just not uh, somebody who you could stay in love with like you used to be. You can't feel bad about that. I mean, because the only reason why cancer would cheat on anybody is because they fell out of love with them. What is the... Uh, what else do we have for our cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus? We have you are good enough. And emotions are running high. Super moon and full moon in Virgo. Mm, so a person felt that you didn't think that they were good enough for you. So their emotions started running high. They're, they're, they're very emotional about this. All right. Uh -huh. Look at all these daggone cars falling on the floor. Here we got the... Uh, Nothing is yet set in stone. This is a mutable moon. All right, so nothing is yet set in stone, uh, Cancer. You, you may have just had sex with this person just as one time. You know, maybe to satisfy a desire that this other person just was not giving you, okay? I mean, let me give you one more card, Cancer. What other messages do we have for Cancer? What other messages do we have for Cancer? As a matter of fact, two cards turned over. All right, let's see. We have the a fiery climax approaches, as well as work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio, and this is new moon in Aries. So, these two signs, Scorpio and Aries, are the most sexual of the daggone zodiac, okay? <laughs> they are the most sexual, so... I mean, if that part of you took over you with this devil energy and you just went out there and just had to uh, get your groove on, then Cancer, you just went out there and have to get your groove on, okay? I mean, don't nobody own your body. Don't nobody own you at all. You want to do whatever the hell you want to do. And it's just that simple, okay? Now... It, it, the only thing that makes a person stay loyal to another person is somebody who wants to stay loyal to another person. Ain't nothing that this other person could have done to keep you loyal to them. And they're just going to have to go ahead and accept that fact. That they were just not enough for the cancer. So they blinded by their pain, but they're going to be peaceful among those thorns and find some type of peace and, sol and solace with losing you, cancer. All right? It's going to have to find some type of peace and solace for losing you. They just was not the person who they were when y'all first started this thing out. They were not the loving person. You felt out in the cold too much with this person. You felt like, you know, you had to drink too much with this person. You was not happy with this person. You just was not happy. And you just went ahead and found somebody else. And that's just what happened, okay? Cancer. If this reading resonates with you, then go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If it didn't, then don't even worry about it, baby. I'm just going to go ahead and get you a better reading next time. Okay, Cancer? So until next time, Cancer, peace, love, and light, my darling. 
Hotep.